Have you ever pressed a button on an elevator and wondered what happens behind the scenes? How does the elevator decide which floor to go to first? How do the motors move the elevator cart up and down? And how do the doors know how quickly or slowly to open and close? These types of questions define high-level and low-level control in robots and mechatronic systems. High-level control is all about the what and the why. What tasks need to be performed? For example, deciding the order of floors to visit in an elevator. Low-level control, on the other hand, is all about the how. How do we accomplish these tasks? In the elevator's case, it's the system that tells the motors how fast to run and for how long to get to each floor smoothly and safely. Our brains are surprisingly great at handling both levels of control. When you decide to make a sandwich, for example, you implicitly manage high-level tasks like preparing the ingredients and getting the plates ready, while also actually performing low-level tasks like opening the fridge, grabbing individual items, and spreading butter on bread. High-level and low-level control enable robots to function intelligently and precisely, just like us. The better the algorithms we create, the smarter and more capable our robots become. Tag in the comments your friend who's a total control freak, because robots wouldn't survive without them. And remember to subscribe if you want more bite-sized robotics knowledge.